Hey YouTube, it's Lisa. Welcome back to my channel. I have another unboxing today. Um, I'm pretty sure I know what this is, but I will be as surprised as you are. It is definitely, this is going to be an art related um, unboxing. It's not going to be a fountain pen one. So if you're looking for fountain pens, unfortunately the title will give you the heads up that this is not the case. Let me just, I will do this this way. I bought this, if this is what I think it is, off of Etsy. Um, I was talking previously on a, on a posting blog with probably in the last two. I've been doing more drawing and sketching. And um, now that COVID, well, <laughs> COVID was under kind of control, but now it's not under control. Um, I'm still trying to do some drawing outside. So this is a tool to help me do that. If I'm correct in my assumption of what this is. The box is so big, I cannot, um, I cannot get it in the frame all the way. So just going to double check all the paper here. And yeah. Ooh. All right, these are exactly what I thought they were. I bought these off of Etsy. Hold on, Sorry just about that microphone malfunction issue. Um, I bought this off of Etsy from the Woodwork and Feather or Father um, site. I will leave the link below in the description. Um, I got two of these because I wasn't really quite sure of the size but they are ta-da they are sorry about that <laughs> upside down and backwards they are portable um, water sketching boards which is great because I did a makeshift one um, and I used um, kind of um, the plastic stuff that they use for um, yard signs and stuff like that or signs for real estate and stuff like that but it's just plastic and as you can tell this is a bigger one not quite as nicely punched out as this one um, I went ahead and got these because I could get the holes drilled for you know holding pencils paint brushes etc plus I have the two water cups which is absolutely key um, for urban sketching and this one is a small one so this is what they call the small, and it's great for, you know, if I'm going to go really lightweight in my urban sketching environment, I can basically tack down a Stillman and Burn book like this and, you know, just kind of urban sketch away. Um, or I should say outdoor sketch, really. I kind of agree with Alfonso Dunn. You might not be in an urban environment, you're just outside sketching. Um, so that's the great thing about that one. and. That's the small one. And then I did get a larger size one for larger sketchbooks, but I think I may have erred and not gotten one big enough, but I was concerned about portability, but this one is a bigger one. So with something like that, let's see here. I'm going to grab one of my landscape books here. Okay, so this one is like the one that I'm using for gouache studies. But even on something like this, I'm gonna have to shoot it over this way and I might actually just go ahead and cover up the side holes and I can do it this way um, for um, larger books like this and I'll basically put bulldog clips over here and over here to hold it down and tape stuff down so this one only has the one cup versus the two and I think it was supposed to be this way I was thinking that the orientation was always going to be landscape and I'm kind of surprised that it's not I'm actually a little bit bummed I might have to write him and go can I get a board this way with the holes punched in landscape format but I think this one's meant for portrait so I'll have to play with that, but um, that is my quick reveal. I'm very happy with these, especially this size. I mean, this is gonna be so easy for me to throw it into a backpack, and these little water cups are the perfect size. Um, 
So that's really, really cool. So hey, really quickly, I just was looking at the uh, website for Woodward and Father for these boards, <coughs> and I wanted to give you just a little bit more detail because um, I feel like I kind of skipped through that really quick. This is considered the mini board. This is eight by 10. Um, and you have the ability to customize this with either one water cup or two. I want it to for clean and dirty water, obviously. Um, this size water board is considered their large one and it looks like it only does come in kind of a portrait setup um, and then they ha he has another size that's 17 by 20 that's a little bit too big for portability um, for me um, the way that I kind of like to do move about um, outside in the metropolitan DC area so this one is a nine and a half by 12 inch board and that's probably about the largest size. Um, the way he has it shown, and I will show you the website really quick, um, is he has it set up like so. So the cool thing about this is, you know, I can probably go ahead and twist and turn it. I don't normally just stick, you know, one sheet of paper. I would probably have um, the way that I would do it with a larger board is you know, I would go like this. Let me get some of my bulldog and binder clips here. And let me grab a watercolor palette so you can see kind of what I'm talking about. And I don't know what I did with my, just trying to reach in here and try to find my little mini um, go draw palette that I had before, which would be ideal for this kind of kit. But I have my little metal um, M-Gram paint set. So this one's a little bit kludgy. Um on how I would set this up. So, because it doesn't quite lay flat for me. Um, and I've got to worry about, you know, this popping up. But basically, it would go something like this. And there's, there's the setup. Um, and then I've got some travel brushes, travel watercolor brushes that I'll be using. And it's kind of important because I am actually, um, I have re-established myself in meetups for drawing urbanly, um, or outside I should say, um, in the metropolitan DC area. And um, I've got a meetup this weekend, so I really wanted to get something that I could, if I had to, I could actually, you know, do stuff outside. So I've got... Um, some pens here. Just pull these out a little bit. And I have not tried this out. So this is my first setup. So if I'm fumbling, I'm fumbling because it's brand new to me too. Um, got this. I've got to see how these holes are going to work. I have to see. Okay, so these holes are too big for, this one's not big enough. That's most unfortunate. This is for my number four, a Skoda. I love this brush. Um, but if I cannot uh, utilize that, then I'm gonna have to probably stick it somewhere else. And then I've got a number two, a Skoda, so we can see if, any of these will accommodate it. They don't fit that very well. I've got a knock pencil that can sit right there, kind of awkwardly. I've got my pen there, and then I've got my bigger Escoda brush. I'm not exactly sure about how he sized, um, you know, I think he just kind of felt 
I don't know what brush he really intended to go in there. So that's going to be kind of an interesting thing. I guess I could always go like this for my brushes. That would definitely work. You know, that definitely does work that way. So all is not lost. Um, I just wanted to show you guys kind of like what the setup is going to kind of look like. So it's a little bit awkward with some of the fittings, but not impossible. That's the eraser. So I can definitely work with it that way and just kind of pull my knock pin out. I mean, my knock pencil out and my fine liner go like that and I can kind of sketch away. So definitely will work. It's going to take some uh, coordination. This right here, I'm going to have to think about the palette that I'm going to use. I've got to find my Gold Draw palette um, that I cannot seem to locate at this current point in time. Um, but I will definitely be utilizing these utensils right here, drawing apparatuses, I should say, um, for the adventures this upcoming weekend. Um, the pricing on this, the larger one that I've got this current book on ran for $30 US. He shipped very quickly. I think I ordered this um, last weekend. It's only Thursday of the week. So it only took him three or four days to ship it to me. I had no questions because um, obviously I did not pay attention closely enough to the orientation of this larger board to make it landscape and not portrait, which is what I would have probably preferred. Um, to ask him to drill it that way and this one costs $25 for the mini he is running low on his inventory on Etsy I think he's only got like one or two of the sizes in stock and he does a lot of plein air um, kind of um, drawing accessories like this drawing boards and such um, I tend to take this little case with me when I draw uh, all, always on my travel so I've always got this with me um, I tend to keep all of these brushes now in here. I recently acquired this larger one. Um, I was desperately needing actually the, the, the bigger two sizes I just got done getting. Um, but I definitely love this knock pen. This pen is fantastic. Um, I use a um, clume sharpener on it and it does both sides of pencils and you can put the lead on, on the side of it and sharpen it that way as well. Okay, um, so I, um, I went scurrying because I wanted to show you guys the, the Go Draw um, palette that I'll probably be taking with me. I also have a water mister from Durant um, in my little additional prop bag. This is the, um, I forgot the name of this brand. I want to say it's like Clume or something like that. This is the Clume eraser, I mean the pencil sharpener. So with regular graphite pencil, it has two holes here that it can sharpen. But for this one, for my knock, um, when I want to sharpen the point on, let me bring that out. When I want to sharpen the point on this, this one will also sharpen this as well and give me a really long point um, that doesn't fit that one. So for this size lead, it also sharpens it. And the great thing about this is that the shavings go into um, this little container here. So it's all kind of self-contained. So I don't have to worry about shavings going everywhere in public. So this will definitely, this kit will definitely go with me in my bag, in my art bag that I will take with me, plein air. I will definitely be taking this bulldog clip. Um, this sharpener kind of goes into this little bag that I got from when I was in England. Um, and the spritzer will go in here too. These are just kind of odd accoutrements that I just don't have any room for. And then for my palette, I will be using my Go Draw palette, which again, now we're cooking with Crisco. Um, you'll see that it will clip onto either one of these boards quite easily and quite well because it has a designated place for it and it'll go like that. And I have room now for mixing. So. This will be my urban sketching kit um, for when I'm out and about. I'm looking forward to it. I do have a dedicated new journal for that, which will be going into my Hannah Mula watercolor book. I love these um, notebooks. These sketchbooks are fantastic. Um, let me just squeeze this up a little bit more. So we'll put that up there like so. 
And I will say that these these go draw palettes or the ant palette. There's also another person out of Russia who makes um, wooden palettes. You can find them on Instagram everywhere. But I can easily kind of clip the pages down onto this board and do everything that I need to do. So it's great. I'll probably attach a little rag up here that it will hang from the board so I can wipe my hands and or <laughs> the brushes off with. Um, I use these little handy wipe kind of things right here. So I'll probably just attach it to the board um, again with another small binder clip or throw it through one of these little impossible holes up here <laughs> that I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with. I might have to actually um, increase the size of these because they're just so, so tiny. I don't know what to do with it. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to like uh, elaborate a little bit more. I'm going to go back now to my closing. Thank you for stopping by. I will talk to you later. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys that. If you like the video and the unboxing, please give it two thumbs up. Please smash the like button so that um, and the subscribe button so I can um, let you know when I'm publishing more content. Really quick unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care until the next time. Bye.